Hello and welcome to a new episode. And I know I have had the night, sing night skin for a long time. I just had it. But due to the fact that I couldn't record for a long time, I hadn't ha have the time to do it. It's almost Christmas again, so it's time to switch into a Christmas skin. But welcome to a new episode. I finally have some time again to make a video. And yeah, we should do something with Christmas. It's going, going to be huge, because, well, we don't have a lot of time anymore. And I also want to make a more, another shop, because, well, who doesn't like more diamonds? So, let's first look at the things we can sell at the shop. So, the shop is for all the goodies we get from the raid farm. But... I have to, we have to look what we can sell, so of course we can sell emeralds Maybe some redstone Though it's not a lot Gunpowder, we can sell Ghoststone, why not uh, Totems of Undying, of course And sugar, well Not on sell very well Bottles, we can sell that it's, it requires a lot of glass, so sticks aren't going, going to sell. Maybe we'll make a special thing for all the banners and hats as well. So then we have all these items which we can sell for a uh, well, nice price. And maybe not everything is going to be sold, but I think the gunpowder certainly will. Other stuff of them dying and emeralds will probably be sold. So I think it will work nicely. But then we'll need to find big a spot to build these shops, and my idea is to make little houses for every item. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses. So let's get to the shopping district and we'll find a spot. I found a spot that I like. So I was thinking about this spot, but then I also saw this spot over here, which I quite like. So this place, I think there's enough space to make the houses without being too obtrusive and well just filling up the entire place that's a bit on the side which I like that's they were alone where 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 is the Russian master well yeah so we need to cut down some trees and then I'll lay down the foundation, I think. I have now laid down the foundation. So, this hill, there's a village now. Oh, it isn't there yet, but I have seven houses here planned, all the same size. And then I'll make a river going through the village for some aesthetics. And yeah, so you come up here in, into the village and then you can shop. So that's the plan. Now I need to design the houses. And well, I want to make every house themed to the resource we have. So, redstone houses, some redstone stuff. Probably the gunpowder house is a bit blown up. And yeah, and so forth for all the other houses. So I will think about some designs and I think I'll build houses build houses and then I'll show them to you. For the build I actually need some oak wood. I ain't gonna chop all that wood. So let's buy some oak wood. Let's get my diamonds. Then let's get down to the shop. Let's see. What the prices are. Five stacks for four diamonds. I'll take that. One, two, three, four, five. 
I hope this is enough. So I'll I'll go back to building, and I'll see you when I'm done. And I finished all the houses. So they're not fully detailed and stuff, but they are done. The shell is there. There's some lights and a little bit of details. So you have seven houses. This one has a water wheel on the side. And this one will be selling plastic bottles. And then the one next to it, wooden, but it will sell the totems of undying. This one is a fancy house, and of course it will sell emeralds. It's fancy. This one will send, send sell gunpowder, so we'll have to make an explosion inside of the house. Or at least make it look like there happened. An explosion happened. Then this house sells the redstone, so I we'll need to put some pistons and some other redstone components in there. This one sells the heads, so I'll probably have to do something with some swords or something, test dummy or I don't know. And then this one sells the glowstone, that's why it has the light on top, it's like a bit of a light tower. That's all the houses, and I've built some bridges and half. So now it's time to get some detail to all the houses, and then we have a... Uh, maybe I will make a entrance with the name of the shop. And then... Uh, have a village complete. Oh, I'm, and we also need to do an interior. That will be back when it's all interiorized. Interior. Well, when all the interior is in there. And it's a long time later, but I think we finished it. Well, almost. Well, if we make this glow. I like that. But it is emeralds and stuff, but. Yeah, I think I'll make it keep it green. But as you can see, I named it unradable as well, so not to raid where all these things come from. And I finished all the houses. So the other wheel is here to signify this is the cells, the glass bottles. I need some water stream into the glass thing here, and I have glass bottles one diamond per thirty-two. In this thing and now i notice i put them in stacks of 64 well they can i will fix it later you have this house if the cream particles are all around it of course it signifies the totem of undying shop so you have totems of undying for two diamonds for one or four diamonds for three so yeah that is that are the totems of undying you have this house with some emeralds outside and a bit of a fancy interior for emeralds, one diamond for 16 blocks. So that's nice. And then we have the exploded building with all the scaffolding. It's dangerously close to collapsing. It's a scum powder, two diamonds per stack. And I've made a little crop field there. And you have the redstone house with all the levers and buttons and stuff. So, yeah, this is the redstone house and it sells redstone, one demand per stack. Then you have the killing house with the dummy outside and some heads, boards inside. And it sells all the raid mob drops, for one diamond per slot. So 16 heads for a diamond or 6 banners for a diamond. And yeah, it's just there. People want it. And lastly, but not least, we have the glowstone house with the fire on top and a lot of light inside. And it sells glowstone for one diamond per stack. And that are all the interiors. And I think it turns out quite nice. I think it's really cozy in here. Looks like a peaceful village. I love and yeah it took a long time to figure out what I wanted for the houses but it's complete I hope people will buy the stuff so yeah I'll fix the glass bottles and then I'll 
we'll go to the next project. And for our next project, it's Christmas time. It's time to make a Christmas tree. And my plan is to make a whole Christmas island from this. Well, small island. I've gathered some resources. Some creation stuff. All the spruce leaves. All the snow. And then all the logs. And some decorations. So, so, I think we should start with the Christmas tree. And, well, I think we'll do it in a time lapse. So all that time lapse into a beautiful Christmas tree. And it's all looking Christmassy now. Now we have the candy canes, the presents, and the big Christmas tree. I really like how it turned out. And at first, I only had the heads, the player heads, which I figured out when I go away. Player heads and render. That's why I also added a ton of wool. So it looks like a Christmas tree from the from a, from a distance. Yeah, the past since Christmas trees. I really like the island and how it turned out. I uh, textured the snow a bit with the calcite and diorite. Now it's raining. But yeah, that these peasants are still empty. And that's all these to change because I want to give some peasants to my friends. So I will put on each peasant, I will put a cryptic hint on what, what's inside. And then I'll put the bell inside with a peasant in it. So, first I need to figure out what I'm gonna give my friends. Let's get to my. So I'll find some items in my base and in the farms, and I'll be back here, I think. We have some uh, presents to put. We have some presents to put in the presents. I'm back with the gifts. So, let's put one in this first. I'll put in the wood, I think. I'll do like this. I get a nice shape. Close it up. Call it. Um. Knock. Knock. Knocking on wood. And by the way, if you're on the server, keep ahead of it. That's, that's a surprise what you get. In this one, I'll put the compiler. 
bit and smaller, but it can probably be worth a lot. I call it uh, boom. Down here, we'll put in. We'll call it. This is way better. Uh, yes. And then we'll put in some meat. Let's see. Um, it's delicious. Tiny food, it's delicious. Let's do. One. One. We'll just test their Minecraft knowledge by calling this one. Post more after achievements. If the if the totems are dying. One in here. Closed stone and the amethyst. And we'll call this one glow and glow. Behold, glow and behold. Then long the left. On the something in this one, yes. Put uh, but also this one. I call it me. Let's see. Where don't we? This one. Put something under here. Put the iron. Like this, I guess. And then we'll put this back. We'll call it. Um. We call it. Um. Nope. I know it's wire heart. Where I think that's achievement for getting iron. B um F is wire hardware. So that's that are all the presents that we have. So let's give it a nice more visible text and then I'll notify the, the, the all the people on the server I think one day before Christmas or something like that I'll notify them or a little bit earlier I don't know I'll notify them soon that they can get their presents here but that's the Christmas place hold on so yeah, okay. Then we we'll give the people that go here a nice choice. Pick. There are a lot of presents. There are eight, and there are only 
three other people, but they can choose. I think, yeah, they will. They can choose. I will maybe say two persons. But that's for them to choose. Yeah, I think I will let them make them choose two persons from this uh, place. We'll see if everyone does it. That's the Christmas place all done. And that's all for this episode. As you could see, making this tree isn't that difficult. You just first make it the trunk, then the branches, and then you put, a, put all the leaves over it. You have a tree. So, it's not that hard to make a tree, but it took a lot of time. I think this whole island took um, more than 3 hours to make. But it was fun to do, it's just play Minecraft, who doesn't love playing Minecraft? That's all for this episode, and if you're playing on the server, I dare you to get to this place. Because so I could get to this, to this place without using my Elytra. So I dare you to get to this place and send me a screenshot. And well, that's all for this episode. I will be making a special episode soon, maybe even before New Year. So keep your eyes out for that. And I hope to see you in the next episode. I hope you like this one. Share your feedback in the comments. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and have, wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Until next one. Good. Bye. Oh, and we also need to do the interior. That will be back when it's all interiorized. Interior. Oh, and all the interior is in there.